Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and in the previous videos, we finished with our first string comparison operator that is CO. CO means contains only. Now we will go for our next string comparison operator that is CN. CN stands for contains not only. In short, it is just not of CO. Not of CO means whatever is true in case of CO, it is false in case of CN. Whatever is false in case of CO, it is true in case of CN. And yes, C and also also take case sensitiveness into consideration. Suppose in case of CO, whatever the result of system variable you are getting, whatever the result of system variable FDPOS you are getting in true, here you will get in false, whatever the result of psi FDPOS you are getting in false for CO, you will get the same to same result in true for in case of CN for this particular system variable. It is just opposite of CO. It is just not of CO. So whatever is true for CO, it is false for CN. Whatever is false for CO, it is true for CN. So what we will do now, whatever the scenarios I covered for CO, same to same scenarios I will cover for CN. And you will understand, yes, true, false, false, true. So we will do the practical now, yes. So this is our program. So what I will do, I will simply, simply make a copy. I will comment this and now I will just write. Now, rather than CO, I will write CN and just I will write now the system variable only so that it will not be any confusion of true and false. We'll just write the system variables. Now, I will simply, simply go for first scenario. If you remember, but the first scenario we covered in case of CO, that first string is containing all the characters which is in the string V2. First string contains only those characters which are in string 2. So we got a true result in case of CO. Now we are going for CN now. Now CN is what contains not only, contains not only, but in our current scenario, it is containing everything. Whatever is in V1, it is in V2. So in that case, this if condition will be false. This if condition it will not be true. System will simply, simply go for which part? Else part. If you remember in case of CO, this if condition was true. But in case of CN, this if condition will be false, will be false. Now, if I will simply, simply run and show you. Word itself is saying note, not. If I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, each and every character of string 1 is in string 2. If we have CO, then this if condition will be true. But now we are going for contains not, contains not but it is containing everything. So this if condition is false and you can see system when it's going for else part and whenever we have false result in case of C and whenever we have false result in C and 
we are getting the length of the first string. What is the length of first string? 30, 30. If you see, in case of CO, you got the length of first string whenever you have that true result, whenever you have that true result. So it is just not of CO. Now we will go for second scenario, which we covered in CO. Now, first string has a character which is not in second string. First string has a character which is not in second string. Now I will go for execute. Now if I will simply simply go for text of three. Now, now first string is system Z. This is your second string. Is all the characters of first string is, is in string two? No. Z is not in string 2 and we are checking for not only if we are checking for not it means this if condition is true. Now you can see this if condition is true and what is the value of system variable 6 6 it will return the first unmatching character first and it will return the position or offset of first unmatching character. And what is the position? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6. So what is the position of Z? It is 6. If you remember, same thing we got in case of CO. Whenever we have the else part executed, whenever we have the false result, here we have the true result. Here we have the true result. And in case of true, yes, it will return the length or offset of first character of V1, which is not in V2. Now, I will simply, simply execute. Now, yes, third scenario, we will cover same to same. Yes, it also, also take case sensitiveness into consideration. So, I will simply make system application product same to same thing i am doing same to same three scenarios i am covering here okay i'll just make this p small or a small now i will simply activate now this capital t is not available in this particular string so if I will put a breakpoint and show you, I will go to desktop 3. Most preferable desktop. Now, now if we see this particular string and if we see this particular string 2, each and every character of string 1, it is in string 2. But yes, here T is in capital, but here T is in small. Yes. So is this particular string operation also take case sensitiveness into consideration? So yes, is all the characters of string one is in string two? If we talk in without considering the case sensitiveness, yes, every character is there. But this string operation is taking case sensitiveness into consideration. It means each and every character of string 1 is not in string 2. It means this if condition is true because we are checking for not only this not word is very important. So this if condition is true and you can see what is the position, what is the position of first unmatching character of string 1. If you remember at that time we counted the position, the position of T is 25th. So we are getting the result as 25th. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video we covered the next string operation that is CN. It's very easy to understand CN stands for contains not only, not only. It means it is just not of CO, not of CO means 
true of CO. It, it is true of CO is false of C and false of CO is true of C and and whatever the scenarios we covered for CO, same to same scenarios we covered for C and now in the next video we will go for our next string operation C A and C N. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.